about jackfruit, specifically jackfruit that is canned, meaning the fruit has been cleaned and put into cans. So I have two kinds here. So this one is young green jackfruit in brine, which just means it's been stored in a liquid that has some salt in the water. Whereas this is also green jackfruit, but it's been stored in water. So we are gonna open these up and see the difference. Fun fact, this is how a can opener is supposed to be used. It's flat on top of the can, turn the handle all the way around so that when you're done, there's actually these little clippies on the side that you can clip the top with. And if I get it correctly, ta-da, comes right off. Cool. Okay, so this is our jackfruit in brine. Oops, let me get a towel. So the brine is pretty liquidy. Let's open our green jackfruit that's in water. We're going to put our can opener on. Open it up on the side. Okay, we've got it now. Okay, so once you have gotten your can all the way open, going to pinch and remove the top. Okay. Okay, so I've opened both of our cans of jackfruit. So in brine, in water. So looking at them, the first difference you can see is that one of the fruits in brine is nice and white and in water is a little bit pink. Now if you were to buy this jackfruit and clean it yourself, it would not be pink, it would be very white. So let's look at them. So they look very similar. So they both have chunks of jackfruit, meaning that the core is also in this jackfruit. So this is the core of the fruit, just like a pineapple has a core, jackfruit also has the core. And the fleshy meaty part is around the core. So if you were to buy a whole jackfruit, you could remove this flesh from the core. But because this is canned, they chop up the whole fruit and stick it in the can. So you may or may not get cores. So if I was cooking this, I would want to cut out that core. So jackfruit, it is a fruit, so it has seed pods, and the seed pod is what is actually the sweet part of the fruit. Because this is a green jackfruit, that means it's young and unripe. So there are no seed pods, little ripe seed pods. You can kind of see in this one that this is where the seed pod would grow. Right now it's just flesh. So let's taste it. So this is our jackfruit in brine where we have, I'm just gonna pick off a piece of flesh. It's all right, could use some barbecue sauce. Okay, so let's look at our jackfruit in water. The only thing we have in this is green jackfruit, water, salt, and citric acid. So it's a little bit pink, and that just doesn't quite look as appetizing to me, but it's the same thing. We have the core in the middle with the flesh on the outside. So you would remove this core and cut it out and work with just the flesh if you were to cook this. So let's taste it. Hmm. It tastes a little bit different. It tastes almost like canned peaches and you know, that flavor that canning food can give it sometimes. So overall, I would go with the canned jackfruit and brine if I were to buy canned jackfruit. So there you have it. That is our canned jackfruit. You can also find canned jackfruit stored in syrup. So that means it'd be very sweet. You wouldn't want to cook with it and make like a meat alternative. So I would recommend buying in salt or, or I would recommend you buy in a brine or you can buy in water if that's all you have, but the brine does have a little bit better taste. So that's the difference. And so this jackfruit is ready to go. So if you were to make a barbecue sandwich or use it in, as like a shredded chicken replacement, you could put this in the pan and warm it up. Whereas if you were to, if you were to buy a whole jackfruit fresh, you would have to cook it first and then it'd be ready for your recipe. If you have any questions or comments or want to know more about jackfruit or have cooked it and enjoyed it, I would love to know. So drop that in the comment below and stay tuned for a fresh new video next Friday. Stay awesome.